Uh, hey, Gilchip, how you doing? You are now live on Levitate's Daily Art Stream. What's going on, man? Hey, what's up, Levitate, man? Um, I was going to ask for some advice, and also I just wanted to, I guess, like make kind of a confession. Um, yeah, what's going is, on? Would that be okay? Yeah, that's fine. Clear the air. All right, man. Um, I have an acquaintance who is like not very happy with me. Um, he's a fellow DJ Raven's coon. I think you might know who that is. A lot of people ask me like what happened between me and him. Rings a bell. Okay. Um, yeah. Um, the, I guess like just for some backstory, I, you know, Paul and I, we go kind of like a, a decent ways back. Um, I want to say it was like, 2012 those where things went a little bit sour he hit me up one day um he knew i was in the cards right like i always have been my dad just from like an early age i was like big into like fixing them working on them all that sort of thing um okay anyway he knew this about me he hits me up one day he says hey man i'm looking to get like a custom uh paint job done on my ford f-250 um, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, let me look at it. What do you want done? Um, he tells me he's, he's like, I want a decal on the front or, or actually it was two. He wanted, uh, he wanted the logo on the front and back of, uh, of base nectar. Um, he was like, I love nectar. I just want to like pay tribute to him. I said, okay. Um, and then on both of the doors, he wanted like his hands on the CDJs. Like he's, scratching uh his favorite songs and so um i like i looked at it um you know i i I, like talked with some of the guys at the body shop that i was working with at the time and uh, i came back to him i said hey dude um you know for what you're looking for which is like engine out like acid dip job um you know with especially like some kind of lacquer on top uh, you yeah. know, like candy paint. Yeah. Um, yeah. that's, that's gonna, that's gonna run you probably like seven grand. I mean, yeah, um, see that. I mean, that's going to be a quality job and I can tell that's he, gonna, yeah, it's going to take some, some, some Gouda, you know, the thing, the thing on that though, is like, he thought I was ripping him off mm. and, uh, and like, I, I wasn't, I mean, like those guys were cutting me a deal. Um, and I felt bad about it. Like I, I knew immediately afterwards, like the energy got weird. Um, later mm-hmm. that day I, I hit him up. I said, Hey, you want to, you want to play Diddy Kong racing? Um, he said he was busy. And then, uh, later that night, like I was out at the, uh, I was at the country club. I saw him there. I waved. I know that he saw me, but he like didn't respond. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like ever since then, just like the energy has been weird. Um, and it's, it's one of those things where it's like, I, I know that someone feels that I've slighted them, but like, I am not responsible for like the price of, of automobile labor. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and, and like, that's just something I'm going to have to live with. I'm not happy with that. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I just wanted to clear the air, get your thoughts on that. Or I, I guess just like really kind of confess what happened either way. Um, thanks for letting me take up a little bit of airtime. I appreciate it. I look forward to hearing what you have to say and, uh, thank you again. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, thank you, uh, Gilchip. Well, I mean, this is serious shit, man. I mean, an investment was proposed, time could, it was, de- <coughs> was dedicated. Look, look, all right, all right, look, when we, when we as entrepreneurs, <coughs> when we as entrepreneurs, self made men start a business, right? When we start a conglomerate, and we do business, um, we can't expect to please everyone, right? Like Snoop Dogg, I think, said it best. He said, you can't, you can't bring all your homies with you or, <laughs> or something. I don't know. When you get big, right, you got to tell your, tell your boys to fuck off, man. I mean, it's, it's kind of the shit that comes along being a high-value kind of guy, You know, and when you supply that value and people want it, they're in your ear, they're in your cell phone, they're in your Twitch DMs, um, whatever, uh, you gotta, you gotta, man, you gotta play by the book. And, you know, Kenny, he said, uh, Kenny Loggins said, you gotta know when to hold him and know when to fold him, bud. That's all it is. 
And on that one, look, man, I mean, when I think about it, when I think about you and Ravens, Coon, I think about I think about the game, dude. I think about the game. And I think about TH, you know what I mean? T-H-E, dude. Texas Hold'em, right? And you got it. When you're looking your buddy right in the face, you got history, 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever, dated his ex-girlfriend, whatever, you know what I mean? You got to look him in the face and you got <coughs> you got to say, look, man, I'm the one who took the loan out to get a liquid 3D printer to make cause-themed Chinese New Year's gravity bongs. <laughs>